Good morning, besties. It's that time of the week again. Just a few days ago, a new round of add-ons has hit the game. From brand new wars to secret doors to even more, today, we're going to take a look at three of them. Tap like, and let's do this. It was only a matter of time, laddies. I just was shocked at how much time it actually ended up being. Out of all of the add-ons that have been released, both free and paid, Spark Pets, the free version, is probably the most popular one. Over 100,000 ratings, most of them positive. For the price of 6 USD and 30 more pets. Inside of a brand new world, it all begins the same. This high quality, super crisp brand new book with a ton of information as to what's going to go on with these brand new pets. When it comes to brand new pets inside of this add-on, oh boy, there are so many. You take what was in Spark Pets, the free one, and like maximize it to build on it. What in the world? <laughs> It's a platypus. Now, I figure there's only one way to try this one out for real, and that's immerse ourselves in that juicy survival experience. All right, so I kind of love how this one does it. Inside of our world, we're going to need to go out and explore. We're looking for one of two things. Either A, random pet will generate and spawn in the wild, and I got to go and tame it. Option B, brand new pet salesman shows up at front door. Brand new pet salesman will probably take a little bit of time, so please, please, anybody, anywhere, you, you it's a forest biome. Anything should be able to spawn here. Here, come on anybody oh <gasps> there it is there it is out in the wild in the plains biome a brand new friend hi buddy how are you we're gonna take this new item called a collar walk up to the pet and <laughs> oh you're just, just perfect you know now that i think about it i wonder if maybe collar on the pig and so just like that, our very first pet of the day, I don't know what kind of dog this thing is, but it's adorable. The animations, the models of this stuff, it fits in vanilla game, it's crisp and clean. It's almost like how I imagine the devs would add a dog to the game nowadays if they were going to add a new dog to the game. Well, now it is. Oh my gosh, they're popping up left, right, and center. I think this is the same exact buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, except just a different coloration this time. For each pet, as we found out previously in this video right here, well, in Spark Pets, you're going to have, like, a set amount of pets, and then each pet has a couple different color variations. So the other way you can go about getting your hands on a brand new pet is finding yourself one of these pet salesmen. Go ahead and walk up to the pet salesman. Hey, nobody come back. Go ahead and walk up to the pet salesman's pet. Use a lead on that other pet, and just like that, that pet is yours, basically. Use the collar, and the deal is locked in and sealed. Alternatively, if this guy would not walk away, we could walk up to him and we have an option for a low price of only a few emeralds to actually buy other pets as well. We can buy pets, but we can also buy outfits. I feel like I definitely don't remember the sunglasses. Oh my god, you're huge. <laughs> the sheepdog is absolutely massive. There's this one guy in the short form app that will not be named that keeps popping up in my feet and wears these like 2012 epic sunglasses. And bro, you're kind of giving off that vibe. Very assertive. Anyways, other pets that we can wear, go ahead and use it on the pet, and all of a sudden, I've got the Monopoly Man, except it's a Golden Retriever. But yes, yes, of course the dogs are beautiful, but it's not only dogs here. If you like yourself a good kitten or two, we've got them too. A Maine Coon. I think that's one of like the biggest cats in the world, right? Then we got the crab. Relive the mob food. Is that how a crab would wear a collar? I've never thought about that before. St. Bernard is one of my favorite dog breeds of all time. One day you will be mine. Adorable. Now we've got a couple weird ones. A platypus. Alrighty then. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. A tarantula. As if a Minecraft needed more spiders. A tarantula with a collar at that. Oh, the blue one. This is some like a villain origin story stuff right there. Right, and last but not least for today, the snake. I already knew how I was going to feel about this add-on. Like going into this thing, I loved the OG free version of Spark Pets. So the paid version. I mean, it just builds on it. For Spark Pets, because there is that wonderful option of a free version, I recommend checking that one out first, and then maybe expanding your arsenal with the paid one. Secret to Doors. Ah, now, I, if I had to take a guess how this one is going to work, I think it might work kind of like how the secret base entrance that we checked out in episode number three of this series worked. Inside of a brand new world, this time, the journey begins the same, except entirely different. What in the world is this? Oh, welcome to the add-on. Let's get it. Oh, no way. That's different. Ah, oh, for the first time ever, we have something that's done a little bit different. Usually, every single atom we've been checking out, it's all done inside of a book. Why am I so excited about this? Anyways, tutorial door. We'll go ahead and use the tutorial door. Oh, that's crazy. Right click on the door to go ahead and open it. Oh, oh, it's a smooth animation. You can also pick up the door. Uh, try using shift sneak and right click on the door. Oh, to get it back. Oh, that's so straightforward. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, wait, wow. And then it just gave me a bunch of free extra bonus orders to start and told me, hey, buddy, there's more crafting recipes inside of this book. Whoa, look at how many different doors we have. Oh, it's not even that expensive either. Like an oak door and eight quartz blocks, it's no big deal. Wow, and just like that, a little bit of time later, I have all of the things I could ever dream of to make this beautiful quartz door, or at least I hope it's going to be beautiful. Eight blocks inside of the crafting table, just like that, door in the middle, and a brand new secret quartz door. Now, of course, we need to find a better location for it. So I don't really know what to expect. Is every door going to be a three by three door or do we get different sizes with the door? Mm, interesting, interesting. So a little bit of quartz blocks, very inconspicuous looking, especially uh, considering the surrounding over here. Nobody would suspect a thing. Go ahead and walk up to the door, interact with the door. Oh, that's a completely different animation. Now, how do I close it? Do I, oh, it's just a time-based thing. I didn't do anything. I just hit the door, it slides open, disappears just like that. And then it closes again. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, how about I go ahead and interact with this and maybe get a little bit more like, oh, I thought that was a mangrove door. Place the secret concrete door on a concrete block to match the color. Oh, alrighty, let's test that one out. We've got a green concrete block, matches the whole swamp vibe and everything. And then we got a green door, no way. We interact with the door. Oh, it's it's gone. It defabricated, demanifested itself, and then it's back again. Wow, I gotta be up front. I'm impressed so far with these doors. These are really, really cool. Place it on a place to match the plane color. Okay, I figured. Well, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and do a mangrove door right there. Interact with the door, and oh, we got a different animation for every single door. That's kind of cool. I like it. Now, how about what I'm maybe most intrigued about is the secret bookshelf door. Imagine putting this one in the background of like your library or something could i maybe use the secret door actually to make not only one door but two like if i had the room split in the middle right and i have a room over there and a room over there oh that's so cool a two and one now the brick door has got one of the coolest animations that i've seen so far it's like three two one and all drops away probably most low-key like easy versatile to blend into your world like right there i mean it's a little bit suspicious looking right but like it's not too far off from vanilla generation the stone door now from the looks of things we've checked out just about almost all of the secret doors excluding door variants like of course you're gonna have a bunch of different wood doors that is one of the cleanest opening and closing animations I've seen. I thought the, the step down one was good, but maybe that one's better. I was curious as to why there would be a polished andesite door and no like polished granite door or anything like that, but no big deal. Oh, that's nice. It rolls away. It's simple, but it's so beautiful too. Like these, oh wow, that's a vault, the obsidian vault. I'm obsessed with these animations. Those are so cool. And how it's done in survival with like sneaking and interacting to just get the door back, interact on the ground and like place it down and just interact with the door again to open it like that's wonderful smooth stone door oh it's like a garage oh that's a cool idea in a solo world maybe not the most useful but in a world with more than one person <laughs> hear about the ways everyone's time with interacting with random locks just so they can find that secret door and now we meet the one that i am most skeptical about today for the price of four dollars allegedly we'll be able to make a bunch of new tools like look at these things with new weapons abilities everything like that and and it's all using the normal Minecraft ores, like you fuse them. After a day, not a single person has given this a two-star review. I... I don't know really what that means in the context of everything, but yeah. Inside of a new world without reading a single piece of instructions, let's get right into it. We take a diamond in the crafting table, we place a netherite in the crafting table, and just like that, abyssalite ingot. What in the world? I need more of those. All right, so we go ahead and make a bunch of abyssalite ingots, and then we can go ahead and make abyssalite chest plate. Oh, that's fascinating how that's done. Now, what in the world will this stuff do, and what in the world is a chakram? And what about a blaster? Now, question, did I maybe just make the hardest set of armor in the game complete with, oh, purple? Complete with this crazy purple thing that happens on the ground as I walk around. Oh, maybe, maybe I definitely did. Interestingly, in survival, zooming in on my armor statistics, one would think this is netherite plus diamond. It would fill up the armor bar. It does not. A blaster. What does a... Whoa. Oh, that's what a blaster does. I see. And so there he was, late November, top of the warehouse building, local villager unsuspecting. How in the world did this make it into the marketplace? <laughs> and can I even make that joke? Okay, well, I didn't think that this would happen. We get crazy sound effects if we're up close too. Wow, that's insane. So, Shocker, what in the world do you do? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm so sorry about this cow, but you're in the way. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, the sound design is good, too. How about the local town security guard? Oh, he doesn't know. He has no clue at all. Do you have any idea who's doing this to you? I, I, I don't think you do. I don't think you know that it's me. Oh, that's insane. Well, anyways, after that, I can go ahead and get myself to a little bit of digging. This feels the same as, say, a diamond or a netherite shovel. Oh, but it's definitely not. You know what I just noticed? What in the world is going on with the durability? I crafted infinite armor that will last forever. And, and same thing with the blaster thing. It's just gonna last forever. I don't really know how to take damage on the armor. Maybe like jumping off something and falling. But I feel like it's probably safe to assume. Same thing with the armor. It's just forever. And whoa, look at all those ingots. Okay, so once I saw all those ingots, immediately I was called back to the farming add-on we checked out last week, where there's like 160 brand new different types of foods, items, crops, whatever. Like, I don't know, maybe it's a debated topic for like something completely different, but I always do start to wonder, like, at a certain point, what is the point of so many different variants of things other than, I guess, maybe just to have them or have that green emerald armor that you've always wanted? Look, uh, interestingly, there's not a single ruby one, like a redstone one or something. Hmm. We've got the green drip. We've got the brown pants. We've got the pyronite boots. Look at how good I look right there. Now, this set of weapon is called the pyronite set of weapons, and it almost looks like there's like a little bit of fire on the icon, so I'm wondering, will you... Okay, um, maybe another one? Or maybe it's just the same. Oh, no, it's not. All right, so I can attack something like normal and deal an insane amount of damage, or I can go ahead and press the use button and I fire charge forwards and burn everything in my path, and I think that's the same with everything here too. Oh yeah, and look at this, you want the Minecraft to base early? Well, here it is, it's called the hammer. I don't really know the difference of all these things if they're just one-shotting everything, but it is cool. Now, I also found a wizard staff. I'm not too sure what this does. You charge it up, it's loading, okay? And then I go ahead and throw it, oh. Oh, okay. I understand suddenly. This is insane. And I don't know if it's insane in a good way or a bad way. Just <laughs> absolutely insane. The secret doors, spark pets, and definitely more ores. What do you think? Is there one of these that you'd like to see me check out in a little bit more detail? Call it down below. Thank you all so much for watching episode four. If you haven't yet, check out three, two, or one. Tap that join button to become a member today for some extra cool benefits. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.